Good morning, folks. This must have been a heck of a way to end a day. Last night, widespread reports of meteorite explosions stretched across Scotland. The penetrator got down far enough for audible rumbles to be heard on dash cams and for reports to come in of buildings shaking just after the night lit up like the day. Okay, let's get our heads back into space weather, starting with us saying goodbye to a large solar tornado on the northeastern limb, departing with the failings of other filaments. Awake yet? Good. This is why SDO eclipse season is so frustrating. The full evolution of this filament release was not visible due to the eclipse of the satellite. Solid heliospheric disruption there. It was indeed the lone eruptive feature of note. Calm sun, no flares, and the earth-facing quiet effect appears to have overcome the primary heliocentric conjunction. Spots decaying center disk, leaving our only sunspots worth watching in coming at the eastern limb. Well folks, as a trans-equatorial coronal hole swings in, the stream from the departing one on the right swept past Earth this morning, with the density shockwave first, followed by faster and hotter particles from the coronal hole itself, eyes on the geomagnetism for storms today. Days after Cyclone Winston, there are more than 50,000 people still homeless in Fiji, and to add insult to injury, a truck carrying a very dangerous sodium cyanide crashed into a waterfall and is now in the drink that leads to a major river. They say it has not leaked out as of this time. Top weather alert is for the United States, tornado potential in the south, snowstorms in the northeast and midwest, and a major soaking for the west. Over at SuspiciousObservers.org, we upload a Deeper Look 17 of this year, reviewing the helical model of our solar system by DJ Sadhu. Also, folks, we have a new contact page to help your email get where it needs to go. We've seen email traffic soar from a few hundred each day to nearly a thousand since the disaster app announcement, which is why we're currently two whole days behind. Folks, we read them all, every one, but our ability to respond is now severely limited, and by our, I mean mine, because my two public emails get 90% of the traffic. Patience, I beg of thee, and your forgiveness for the delay. We've got pressure and radar forecast across the pond and down under, followed by shots of our star to close. It's 4.20 a.m. Mountain Time, and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.